For all of Notion's glorious features, it is not that mobile friendly, unfortunately. And you've probably run into this when you've opened up the app on your phone to maybe jot down a thought or add a task to your task list. There can be a lot of friction at trying to find the proper place to put that idea or thought or task. Not anymore. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a quick capture page that you can easily access in one tap on your phone. We're gonna be using Notion's feature of buttons to be able to connect to multiple databases across your workspace so you can easily capture that information in the right place. If that sounds good, let's dive in. And if you're new here, my name is Kaylin. It's so nice to meet you. We talk about all things planning, productivity, personal growth topics, and and of course, Notion, which is one of my favorite productivity apps. So if you like talking about those things too, then I think we'd be a good fit. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Before we get started, I just want to clarify that this video is specific towards intermediate Notion users. That doesn't mean you can't watch it if you are a beginner. In fact, I think it would show you the possibilities that you can do with Notion, and that would be really exciting to see what you could implement in the future. But you want to have all your databases pretty much set up. And if you're new to Notion databases and you're not sure exactly what they are, then I would recommend that you take my Notion Anatomy class first because that's going to give you a rundown of all the basics in less than 60 minutes. If you've been in the productivity space for any amount of time, you've probably heard of the GTD system by David Allen, Getting Things Done. And one of his famous quotes is that your brain is full for having ideas, not holding them. The point is to capture the information in our brain and then organize it somewhere for safekeeping so we don't have to hold on to it and we don't have 50 million tabs open in our brains. So let's say a task pops into your head. I have to do this task, I don't have to do it right now, but I should probably tackle it three days from now. That should be captured and put into your master task list. If you think of a project, which is an action item that contains a group of tasks, you probably wanna add that to your project database. If you are a content creator like me and you like writing and sharing things on Instagram and you have an idea or you're inspired to share something, you wanna put that into a content creation database. If you have a book you wanna read, put it into your book database database, a TV show in your entertainment database. You get the idea, right? Whenever we have a piece of information in our heads that we want to save, we need to put it somewhere so we don't lose it. So before you create a quick capture page, you want to think through the information that you typically capture on a daily basis. And it might even be helpful to write them down throughout a day as you think of them so that you know what databases you need to organize that information in or what databases you need to create if you don't have them set up already. Let's go into Notion and actually build out this page. And it's going to be very simple because we want to make sure that we can access it quickly and easily on our phones. So to create a new page, you're just going to go up here, click new page and label it quick capture. You can add the emoji and cover photo that you would like to see. Let's just do a plus sign to say that we're quickly capturing this information. Now we're going to start adding our buttons. You can create a Notion button by doing the slash command and typing in button. And this is where we can connect to the database that we want to store that information. If you haven't used buttons yet, these are a lot of fun to play with because they can add pages to a database, they can edit pages inside a database, they can edit all the properties inside a database, they can do all of these actions in one click. You just have to tell it what you want the button to do. They're really fun to play with. As our first example, let's use this button to capture a task. So let's label it, add a new task. We'll add a quick icon to it. And then when the button is clicked, we want it to add a new task to our task database. So let's click add page two and select the database. This is why you need databases set up to be able to store that information. And I'm gonna do all tasks, which is what my database is called. 
So it's going into my master task list. If you don't have a master task list set up yet, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can watch my video about it and get a free Notion template. But here it's asking, what do you want to add the page as? I have a bunch of templates already set up in Notion. So I could just say it's the default template and then it will automatically apply all the properties that I want to this task, but I don't know how relevant this is for tasks because when it comes to things like energy and priority level and category, that's gonna depend on the type of task that you add. So I'm gonna leave those blank. The next step is to make sure that we tell it that we want the page to pop up after it adds the page to the database because otherwise it will add the page but you won't see it unless you have to go into your database which completely negates the reason for quickly adding something into Notion. So we'll click add another step and open page. We want to open the new page added and you can choose to open it in whatever side peak, center peak, or full page whatever it is that you prefer. Now we can click done and test this new button. So I'll click add a task. It's going to open a page of a new task. It already has the priority set as high because this was applying a template that I already had, but I can easily change those right in the task that I want to add, select the correct category, select the energy level, and then close out and it will be added to my task list. We could go into my master task list and I could search for example task. Let me spell it right first. And there it is, it pops up. And if I assigned a due date, it would pop up on my personal dashboard as due today. And you can do this for any item that you want to capture. Let's do another example, just so you can go through this again. And I'm going to add an idea for my weekly newsletter, which shameless plug, you should sign up for. I send it out every Monday called the Monday Files, and it's full of productivity lessons, personal growth tips. It's really a fun and thought provoking read. I'm gonna title this, add a newsletter idea and let's add a little news icon to it. And now when this button is clicked, I want to add a page to my content database. And there it is. And I want to add this as my newsletter template already because it's going to have all those properties assigned to it. I don't have to go in and edit specific properties, although I could if I wanted to. Then we just need to add that last step of opening up the page. Remember, if you forget this, it's just going to go into the oblivion of your database and you might struggle to find it. So new page added in center peak, done. Now I can click add a newsletter idea. See, it already has those properties filled in for me that I need. I can select the topic. I can write the topic up here that I want to talk about. And now I never lose a brilliant newsletter idea. Here's the important thing though. You want to make sure that you can always find what you're adding to the database. And you can do that through filters. So what I mean is I'm adding this as a new idea. So I need to have a section in my newsletter page, which I'll show you, that is filtered to my newsletter ideas. And down here I do. So you see that new one popped up here because I have a linked view of the database. I have the filter as showing me where the status is idea and the platform is email newsletter. So any idea that I add through my quick capture page is going to show up here. If I didn't filter it correctly, then I would need to go into the actual content database and scroll through a whole bunch of content that has already been scheduled and written and published. I want to find what I need really quickly and filters are going to help you do that. As you build out your quick capture page, you can start to use headings and different colors and dividers. That's what I've done on mine. So I have some task and project buttons that add a business task to my master task list, personal task to my master task list, a project. Then I have all those content ideas that I was talking about. Any book that I want to add to my bookshelf that I either want to read or have read or an article that I read that I want to reference back to I can add to my learning library if I see something that's like a really cool graphic that I'm inspired by I can add it to a swipe file which just gives me some ideas and inspiration for when I'm creating content 
And then I just have a miscellaneous section where I can add a quick gift idea. If I'm at the store and or I'm browsing online, I'm thinking that might be a good thing to get for someone for Christmas. Sometimes you will want to capture information really quickly. Like if you think of something brilliant that you don't wanna lose and you want to put it into Notion as quickly as possible and not waste time adding all the different properties for that specific item. If you do that, you wanna make sure that you have have a place that you can sort through at the beginning of every week or whenever you do your weekly planning routine to go through and actually organize that information with the proper tags. I do this on my weekly planning page and under my reset section, I have clear inboxes. So one of those things is to clear my desktop tabs because I always have a million tabs open. I like to start fresh at the beginning of every week. And then I have directions to process my quick capture page. I have this set to any tasks, any content ideas, and anything in my swipe file that I still need to process. By the way, what I'm using here is a linked database view with multiple database sources coming into it. This is one of my favorite Notion hacks, and if you wanna learn how to do that and also learn, I think there's like 10 more hacks in that video, I'll link to the Notion hacks below and you can watch that after this one. But if you are going to do this, if you are going to have a set of information that you're capturing that you're gonna organize later, you wanna make sure that it's set up to some sort of filter that's going to capture it in this holding place. Now, what I mean by that, and stick with me here, is maybe there is a property that you don't add to make sure you can organize it properly here. So for tasks, I have it filtered to show any task where it's not done and the category is empty. So if I need to add a task really quickly, I don't add a category to it because then I know that it will end up on this page and I can process it and add all the appropriate properties that I want to add. Over here on this tab, I've done it with my swipe file, which are things that inspire me that I see other business owners doing that I'm like, that's really cool. I don't wanna copy them, but I wanna use them as inspiration. So I have a default status set to, to process and then my filter is showing me anything that is not archived. So I can go in and I can assign it the right category and then click archived when I'm done and it disappears from this list. The very last step to this process is to create a widget on your phone to be able to access your quick capture page rather quickly. You don't wanna use the actual Notion app because I think by default, it's going to open up the last page that you were on. So you wanna make sure that you add a widget specific to the quick capture page. And to do this, you can hold down on your home screen for the iPhone until the apps start wiggling. And then on the upper left-hand side, Side, you can click that plus button, search for Notion to be able to add a widget, and then assign the specific page that you want to add, and then add it to your home screen so wherever you are, you can easily add the information that you want to capture. For Android users, I will leave a link below to a tutorial that will tell you how to get a widget on your phone using your operating system. And then whenever you have a brilliant thought or idea or task that you do not want to lose, you don't have to store it in your brain. You can just tap that quick capture widget to open a beautiful mobile friendly page to be able to get that information where it's supposed to belong in Notion. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything that you saw here or if you have other Notion tutorials that you want to see. I do provide more one-on-one -on -one help in my Nerdy About Notion community, which you can access by joining that Notion Anatomy class that I talked about earlier or by buying one of my premium templates. And we go into more detail about the questions you have inside there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.